Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy Matt Merced. What I have for you guys here right now today is another tips and trick video for Red Dead Redemption 2, man. Now, this video here is going to show you guys how you can be able to rob a poker game that's where that's hidden in Red Dead Redemption 2, man. Uh, hopefully this video helps out. If it does, leave a like on this video. Subscribe here if you're new for more tips and tricks. And without further ado, man, let's get into the video. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing you're going to want to do, man, is you're going to want to pull up your map. Now, if you're in the Chapter 2 in this game, uh, you've unlocked St. Denny's. You've been through there before, man. It's like a big, giant town. Uh, it's more like a city, if you ask me back in these wild western days bro but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the gunsmith that's in St. Denny and it's going to be the same process that you guys are going to do when you get the Schofield revolver in Valentine man you're going to want to walk into the gunsmith you're going to go into the back room over here as you see on screen and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to knock on this door back here man and once you guys knock on this door you're going to be given the option to rob this place so you're going to want to put a mask on dude walk up to the counter man uh point a gun at the guy's face dude and you're gonna press up on the d-pad to be given the option to rob the back room now here's when shit's gonna get crazy for you man uh once this guy opens the door for you man make sure what you want to do it you do the opposite of what i did in this in this uh walkthrough uh you guys are gonna want to take down each and every person silently that includes the gunsmith and all the other people that you're gonna see in this video man so first thing you're gonna want to do dude is walk up to this dude pistol whip his ass you know what i mean this guy on the floor right here man you're gonna want to put the gun up to his head and you're gonna want to keep asking him questions and threaten him until he eventually tells you that there's a secret poker game on the third floor of the gunsmith man so after that once you get the answer from him man you're gonna want to take him down silently whether that's with the stone hatchet a tomahawk or a throwing knife man because he's on the ground you can't really pistol whip him there's no silence guns in this game so yeah man do that take him out and then the next thing you're going to want to do is go up to the third floor, man. When you go up to the third floor, bro, there's going to be two doors. There's going to be one to your left and one to your right. You're going to want to go into the one in your uh, to the right. And be careful, man, because when you open up this door, man, there's going to be a guy here with a gun shooting at you. So do the opposite of what I did, man. Try to run up to this guy and take this guy out silently, man. If you start letting off bullets like I did in this video, you're going to see that the law is going to get on you, man. And it's going to create a mess for you man you're gonna get a bounty on you and stuff so try to take these guys out silently bro all right so once you take out the first gunman at the door man you're gonna come across three people you're gonna come across some guy who's dressed like a fucking magician and you're gonna find two pussies on the ground like begging and pleading for your life man uh this video i didn't really know what to do but now that i did it already um i kind of came up with a theory man i figured out that to make these guys really talk quickly the first thing you're going to want to do is try to threaten and question all three of them one time. Okay, you're looking, your main focus is going to be on the guy that has the magician coat on who's blocking that safe, man. Uh, the quickest way to get these guys to talk, man, is take out the two guys on the floor. And like I said, take these guys out silently. Uh, you'll see in the video, you'll see me questioning them and they won't really give me an answer straight away. Um, but once I found out that the cops get on me, man, I take out these guys very quickly and uh, this guy rushes and opens up the safe, man. Now this is a little like, you know, tip and trick video. This is nothing too crazy if you ask me. Um, depending on if you loot every single person in this place, take the money on the desk and go into the safe, man. You're going to be looking around maybe 100 to $120. So it's a quick little thing you guys can do to make some quick money if you're out of it. But like I said, man, don't be reckless and do what I did, man. Take these people out silently as it will benefit in your favor, man. But yeah, uh, I think I'm going to wrap up the video here straight and simple, man. This is how to rob the poker game in St. Denny. It's like a secret thing I figured out. I'm actually glad I figured it out. Uh, stay tuned, man. Hit that like button if this helped you guys out. Make sure you subscribe here for more future Red Dead Redemption 2 content. That could be anything from walkthroughs, legendary animal hunt guides, uh, treasure map guides, man, tips and tricks. Be on the lookout too, man. It's like, I think it's like 3 in the morning or some shit. So tomorrow I got to go to the dentist. But after I get home from the dentist, man, I already played a couple of more episodes, I think I'm up to episode 37, but I have 32 uploaded, in the five future episodes, man, you're gonna witness me find the KKK, uh, yeah, man, the Ku Klux Klan, I'm gonna show you guys 
how you can find them um, I'm also gonna f show you guys how to find a secret treasure that can give you guys like a gold bar man and a couple other videos so stay tuned thank you guys for watching and I'm out